And this is a complete coding. Now I will show you. Run. Bedroom. There we go. So this is how you do the home automation app. So when, when we are outside of the house, we can change the temperature of the house, staying even outside of the house, not inside. But to make this, there are two steps. First, you have to make the app, and then you have to connect that app with your real uh, home temperature machine. Assalamu alaikum, dear viewers. Welcome back to another episode of Coding with Fatiha here in Robbie 10 Minute School and also on my page and channel. So today, I'm going to show you a very new thing in code.org. Normally, we would go and continue our lesson from the course A from right here because today I was supposed to show you about the events, but I already finished the loops and sequencing showing you, but today I'm not gonna do that. To, after every two classes, to make it more interesting for you, I am going to make a more interesting app, in, like in real life, so that you guys can really understand, okay? So what I'm going to first, we're going to go to App Lab right here. What I'm going to show you is a home, home automation app. Okay, so now let's do the designing for the screen one. Basically, we are going to take a label and you can drag it there. And we want to make it like very wide so that the text that we're going to put in here, it's going to fit. Okay, hold that and make it much wider there we go font size for the text should be 20 and the text color should be black you can give it any other color i gave it black and the text should be home automation app. correct for that capital there we go to make two buttons and this is for one of the screens now we can create a new screen and we actually want to put the degree sign and so that is going to be where the the number shows up and also the celsius now we need a label now we want a slider you'll find it right here if you see right here in this area you're gonna find a slider yeah and now we need a button okay a little smaller so that when they click the button the button is gonna say home and we're gonna name this also button home oh sorry button home there we go yeah okay so when you click that it's gonna take there to the main screen and so this is our perfect result for the screen bedroom now we're gonna create another one exactly like that. Okay, so now we can start the coding part. I uh, From design, I went back to coding right here, code. Okay, so let's say that on event, okay. So on event is basically like one run, one or on event that the button bed, I'll show you that right here, screen one. I need, I put the ID for this one, button bed. Let me show you my design. Design, button bed, see? Button bed is clicked. Then, I'm gonna go all the way down here. It's gonna say right here, set screen. So it's gonna take you to another screen. You have to put it inside the loop. It's gonna say set screen, screen bedroom, correct. Now, another on event. On event that in the, okay, let me uh, take you to the screen bedroom here. The screen bedroom actually has uh, this is a slider one. Oh, sorry, not screen level, uh, slider one. On event is slider one is on change. Sorry. Uh, yeah, it's on change. Then what it should do is that set text on the, right, on right here. So let me show you. Set text, um, let's go down right here. Label bed Celsius, right? Cause this is where we're gonna Celsius, so label bed Celsius. Set text to get number. So uh, on this place, it's gonna uh, get the value of this slider. 
of the slider one and it's going to place it on the label bed okay so let me show you that part run bedroom see 20 2042 70 oh i think i know why that happens because if we go to our design right here uh if we go to our screen bedroom they get the slider then remember our minimum value should be 18 and our maximum value should be 30 okay so we're gonna set our value to like maybe 21 this is basically where you want it to start off okay now code run bedroom 42 see 20 18 it's gonna go up to 18 to 30 see about that okay that's gonna be the change but what else would we want we want it to change the cell from celsius to fahrenheit okay so what we're gonna do then is set number in our label bed fahrenheit so we're gonna go to math so first we are going to put the plus sign the plus equation and then we're gonna put the multiply equation and then the desired equation so for, for, okay oh and before that we want to set a variable variable okay variable x we're gonna name it variable x variable x is equals to get number from the label bed celsius right that's gonna be okay so it's gonna be since we oh yeah the that one deleted okay since we already have our uh, variable as the x we're gonna put x right here and the formula is x divided by 5 multiplied by 9 plus 32 on repeat x which is the get number from label bed celsius divided by 5 multiplied by 9 plus the 32 okay that's that and so in that it's going to show us this the uh fahrenheit let me show you for example uh it says we left oh okay one second let me put that down set text get num yeah let's put that out because we don't need that okay number slider one now it's gonna work run bedroom see so if you put 26 degrees celsius then it's gonna bring us that if we put 19 degrees celsius it's gonna bring us that exactly that is how we're gonna do with the other one let me show you um yeah reset oh. we're gonna get to the screen living room and then we're going to do on event that so when the button um button uh, uh living room but living is going to be clicked then it should set our screen to but to the screen living right screen uh screen living correct and then again on event that the this sliders id is slider 2 slider 2 is being changed then it should set the text for in our label uh label living celsius to that it should be get number just like that okay get number from our lab uh from our slider slider 2 and this is a complete coding now i will show you run bedroom there we go so this is how you do the home automation app i hope you all enjoyed it inshallah in my next coding with fatiha episode i will be going back to our previous um the previous lessons that we did in the course a and remember after every two classes i will show you a new cool thing thank you and assalamualaikum